Hello, my name is David Ashdown, Managing Director of Clarion Events Africa, and welcome to our annual awards event. This year, we're meeting virtually. Well, unfortunately, we have to. The fact that we can't gather in, together in person to celebrate as we normally would, and as we prefer, is all the more reason why this is important. This event, these awards, remind us who we are, a resilient, innovative and resourceful community. A community that is passionate about electrifying Africa and looks out for those beyond ourselves. This year's honorees exemplify that and it is my great pleasure to recognise each of them and congratulate them for the awards they're winning. Hello and welcome to the first virtual African Power, Energy and Water Industry Awards from beautiful Cape Town. Now earlier this year, the two leading programs celebrating excellence and innovation in the African power and energy sector joined forces to honour the continent's leading energy projects and pioneers. Now the African Power and Energy Elites magazine and the African Power, Energy and Water Industry Awards aligned their 2020 editions with a single nomination and selection process across a set of complementary categories. Now, this year we're announcing the winners for five power and energy categories that would have been awarded at the African Utility Week and PowerGen Africa event here in Cape Town. Now, there are also four additional award categories that would have traditionally been part of the program, and these will be postponed to 2021. So, let's begin. The first award recognizes a person under the age of 35 from a public or private company who has made an outstanding contribution. Now, this young professional has had commendable career achievements to date and is already playing a leading role in this sector. The shortlisted young leaders are... Haruperi Mumbengewi, Legal Counsel, Power Sector, African Legal Support Facility, African Development Bank Group. Jack Radmore, Energy Program Manager, Green Cape. Sanusi Ohiare, Executive Director, Rural Electrification Fund, Rural Electrification Agency. Urena Onyewuchi, Member, IEEE Power Africa Steering Committee. And the winner is Sanusi Ohiare, Executive Director, Rural Electrification Fund, Rural Electrification Agency from Nigeria. Dr. Sanusi has been responsible for a number of the rural education programs and projects that are happening today in Nigeria under the Rural Education Fund, uh, impacting positively on lives of individuals and small businesses. And so it's not a surprise that today Dr. Sanusi is being considered for this very important award. I must say, uh, working with him, uh, as I said earlier, you know, has brought up about uh, seeing a lot of uh, leadership qualities, uh, a lot of education, uh, and most importantly, there's this selflessness uh, that he wants to help uh, the Nigerian country, uh, our own country. So, uh, also the most important thing is that uh, we come from the, a very similar age group, uh, and we are both. Uh, within the youthful uh, side of things. So uh, I can see that in him. And uh, I think it's very, very encouraging uh, to all other youth to understand that um, when given the opportunity, uh, we are able to uh, strive and, uh, and give the desired results. So once again, I want to use this opportunity uh, to congratulate you, my friend, uh, Dr. Sanusi Ohiari, for bringing home this award. Thank you. We will now be announcing the project category winners. While an independent advisory board performed the difficult task of determining the shortlist, the industry was asked to participate and vote for their favorite project in the small scale and T&D categories. Thank you if you voted, and also thank you to our external advisory board composed of experienced industry figures from around the world. Small Scale Power Project of the Year identifies electrification projects that have made a positive impact to communities by increasing energy access and electrification rates. Now, these projects can be initiatives that are driven by government, private developers, or public institutions, and the impact can increase power distribution to previously unelectrified communities for uses in homes, in schools, healthcare facilities, agriculture, and small businesses. Here are the nominees. Empower New Energy New Southern Energy Floating Solar Farm Rico Forteza Nigeria Limited Light Up Quara Solar Project Sustainable Power Generation Fanes Group Society Renewable Energies Company 
and the winner is Sosai Renewable Energies Nigeria. Congratulations! And it has been a privilege to be part of the judging panel for this year's Power and Energy Elites 2020, for, particularly for the small-scale renewable energy projects. We received a large number of applications and nominations for this award, all of them really showing the impact that renewable energy can make on rural areas in Africa. We were very glad that we were able to come up with a shortlist of projects that in our view provided that really that impact, that innovative way of providing energy access. And I'm very glad that you were able to select a project that shows that a combination of providing mini grids, providing uh, solar kiosks and solar drying has really been able to provide social and particular economic impact in areas, in this case in Nigeria. To congratulate Sosai Renewable Energy Company on their project in Nigeria and for winning the award for Small Scale Renewable Energy Project 2020. Congratulations. Your project stands out because it built an economy as well. Small scale installations are often criticized for not contributing to economic growth. However, people tend to neglect microeconomies, especially in rural areas. Your project has given people hope and the spirit of entrepreneurship. So SAI have proven that electrification can transform people's lives, not just economically, but socially as well. Congratulations, Sosai. You have enabled rural electrification, food processing, storage, and the advancement of women entrepreneurs. Your project has provided 864 people with electricity and enabled five new businesses. This is remarkable and should serve as a blueprint for future projects in Africa. Congratulations once again. Our next project award is the Transmission and Distribution Project of the Year category. Now, this category received entries from projects that provide transmission and distribution rollouts locally, nationally and regionally. Now, these projects include LV, MV and HV new building programs, maintenance projects, service delivery initiatives, revenue protection measures, technical and non-technical loss reduction, grid integration and initiatives to increase network stability. And here are the shortlisted nominees. Safi Analytics Akili SA Smartsen Kanu Electricity Distribution Company Kedco The public voted Kanu Electricity Distribution Company Nigeria to win the Transmission and Distribution Project of the Year. Congratulations! Anyone who has experienced power outages or poor supply as a result of aggregated technical and commercial collection losses can relate to this project. This is why I believe the public voted for the Kano Electricity Distribution Company's project in Nigeria. I am so proud of the success achieved by this project and excited to see what else is in the pipeline for Ketco in the years ahead. Congratulations. Kano Electricity Distribution Company, Ketco, has done a great job they were able to reduce their ATC and C from 62% to 47%. They were also able to raise their collection efficiency from 6% to 39%. This is no mean achievement. They are winning the HATS model, which enabled them to achieve this feat. It's recommended to all other African countries. Congratulations, Kedko. Our aim is to inspire greatness and find African solutions to African challenges. If you're feeling inspired and want to nominate a project or leader, the African Energy Elites nominations are now open for 2021. Visit www.african-energy-elites.com now to nominate a leader or project. 
Power Industry Leader of the Year, an award that celebrates the accomplishments of an individual in a senior position from a utility, public or private company who has displayed passion and commitment to the power industry, while also demonstrating leadership, vision and success. Now, the impact of their work has improved and furthered the power and energy value chain on a regional and countrywide level. And here are the nominees. Andrew Herskowitz, U.S. President and U.S. Aid Administrator's Power Africa Coordinator, USAID. Hitton Palmer, Director, Uyilo E-Mobility Program. Ifeoma Malo, CEO, Country Campaign Director, Clean Tech Hub, Power for All Nigeria. Christina Skirka, CEO, Power for All. Lawrence Jones. Vice President, International Programs, Edison Electric Institute. Mpeli Rampokanyo, Principal Engineer, CSIR, Energy Center. Naniki Nzuza, Senior Engineer, ESCOM. Seydou Kane, Managing Director, Eton. And the winner of the Power Industry Leader of the Year, Ifeoma Malo, CEO Country Campaign Director, Clean Tech Hub, Power for All Nigeria. Congratulations! I've gotten to know Ifi quite a few years ago when she was in the public sector, but it was only when I got into the power sector and she was with Power for All and then with the Clean Tech Hub that I've really, really, really gotten to know her very well and I've appreciated everything that she has done, not just for me, but for the whole industry. And for me in particular, she introduced me to so many people when I entered the industry, was a teacher, a mentor, and then we became collaborators and we've done a lot of great work together and I greatly appreciate what she's done for the sector. Ifi, thank you for what you're doing. This is so well deserved and I cannot say enough uh, how much you've done for this sector and I hope that you will continue to do for the long term. Thank you. Really excited that she has been selected for this award. I um, very much uh, feel it's well deserved and uh, it's a, a, a round hole in a round peg. She very much deserves that because of the role she has played in building and growing the sustainable uh, energy industry in Nigeria and, and beyond. And I wish her all the best. Uh, kudos and congratulations and uh, wishing you more accolades to come. And now we've come to our big finale, the Lifetime Achievement Award, which is presented to an individual for prolonged and consistent achievements who has made a significant contribution to the development and future of the energy and water industries during his or her career. Now, all the nominees in the Power Industry Leader of the Year category were considered for the Lifetime Achievement Accolade. And the award goes to... Andrew Herskowitz, Chief Development Officer, U.S. International Development Finance Corporation. For Economy Planning and Corporation of Senegal, I've known Andy for the last six years. The first time we met, I was the CEO of the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Senegal. Later on, I moved to the African Development Bank, where I worked very closely with Andy on various initiatives in Africa. Andy is one of the smartest, the most hardworking people that I've ever met. And Andy was always uh, willing uh, to listen to new tools, to new methods, to innovation. And he worked very hard to advance uh, the energy uh, access agenda in Africa. Well done, Andy, and good luck on your next move. All the best. I met Andy about five years ago, I believe it was, at the Vice President of Nigeria's office, where he came to discuss the Power Africa program and how impactful he saw um, the program to Nigeria and the African power sector. We were all very skeptical because we thought another donor program, but to Andy's testament, it is one of the most significant programs on the continent to help actual power sector reform, and it still reigns, remains today. I'm really, really excited that you're getting this Lifetime Achievement um, Award, even though you're still doing a lot for the sector. As we know, I'm very fortunate for you to be a friend and a mentor and look forward to um, the next next few years working with you on how to actually provide sustainable energy for all. I wish you a congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. 
I'm in Franschhoek in wine country and I know we've shared a few glasses of wine and a few hikes in our past and um, this place makes me think of you. So congratulations. First of all, I had to ask your colleagues, are you old enough to get a Lifetime Achievement Award? Um, but then when I think back about your history in Power Africa, and I think it's been over 10 years now that we've worked together, um, you made Power in Africa cool, Andy. Before then, we did our one project a year, if we were lucky, and Power Africa has changed the market. Um, it has, we've done so many projects together. We've done Azura and Taiba Wind in Senegal and Capetto in Kenya and South African Renewables, uh, and there are more. I raise a glass and I hope to have one with you in person soon. I just don't know when that will be. Take care, Andy, congratulations. Congratulations to this year's winners. Now, of course, the messages from your peers have been heartfelt and inspiring. You are genuine winners and have made a difference to the African power sector. Read more about the winning leaders and projects by visiting www.african-energy-elite.com. Now make sure that you save the date for next year's live celebration. It is the 12th of May, 2021. From myself, Katah Maboe, thank you very much for joining us and stay safe.